Hey team, it's me Vanessa Fernandez and I'm making this video to explain a resource to you that I created when I was a newbie baby coach and I've been using it ever since and it's just my way of organizing my business and I want to share it with you in case it would be helpful to you. Now, here's my caveat before I jump into this resource. Um, if you're watching this video and your brain is starting to go and you just, you know, we all think differently. So if you're watching this and you're like, this doesn't make sense to me, this is super overwhelming to me, this is super stressing me out, um, it's okay. You know, I know when I was a new coach, I would look at top coaches and whatever they did, I felt like, well, that's what I need to do to be successful. And you do need to have a system, yes, you do need that to be successful, but it doesn't need to be my system. So I'm sharing with you my system because maybe you think like me and you totally click, it makes sense, and you can implement it and do great. But don't let this trip you up. Don't let this be one of those simple, stupid little things that throws you into a tailspin. Um, if my way doesn't make sense to you, go to YouTube, look up organizing beach body business and you will find a multitude of coaches sharing their systems it's one of the best things about this business so find the system that works for you you do need a system it is going to change everything for you if you're feeling like you're at a plateau in your business it's because you don't have a good enough system or you're not using it so without further ado let's get into my system I call it the control center just what I call it um, and it's basically a binder I don't have it with me but I think we all know what a binder looks like right okay so it's a binder and then I've printed off several documents that I three hole punch and I put in my binder and this basically has my entire business in it this is a mobile business guys you can take it when you're traveling you can take it anywhere and so I love having this binder that I can literally grab get my laptop or my phone and just get work done from anywhere so here's what it consists of I am going to screen share with you guys so that you can see my system um, so I've created a file and it's in Dropbox and the link is in our team page if you can't find it just let me know I can tag you in it real quick um, this file called the control center has all of the documents that are in my control center you can print them off and make your own very easily so I'm gonna start with the cover page right here this is literally what I stick inside the front of my binder you know how it has like that clear plastic and you can just slip a paper right in the middle so you don't even have to open your binder and this is what you see um, and basically it is a place where you can put your coach ID uh, you will memorize that eventually but until you do <laughs> it's a great place to you know have it so you don't have to like always log into your coach online office to find your coach ID so put your coach ID here put your name it has the phone number for Beachbody Coach Relations if you ever need to call them. It has the email for Coach Relations. It has my phone number and it has my email address which is actually an old email address and I can't figure out how to change it. So just send me a messenger on Facebook. You guys know how to get a hold of me. Um, okay, then the next part is your website, your Beachbody website, which is uh, Beachbody Team or Beachbody Coach. Gosh, I'm totally doubting myself now. Beachbodycoach.com slash your username. So just write it out there so that you don't have to think about it. You don't have to look for it. If somebody wants to order something from your website, you can give it to them. And then your Shakeology website is the same. Shakeology.com slash your username, whatever your username is. So just fill all this out. Next, your goals. What are your goals for this business? Dream big. Um, on my goals, I have... You know, relieve stress from my husband, build uh, my kids' future, give them a future, their educational future, paying for their college, um, you know, traveling more. Whatever your goals are, whatever motivates you, uh, write it down so that literally every time you open up your control journal, your control center, you see that and it reminds you why you are doing this work. And then put your why. Why are you a coach? What is it that you really want to accomplish as a coach? Um, do you want to become 
a woman of discipline and maybe you never have, that's a big one for me. I want to be a woman who doesn't just give up because I don't want my kids growing up with that kind of mom. I want to be a woman who inspires others. You know, dig deep. What is your why for coaching? Write it out here. It is the first thing you see when you open up your control center and you see and you start working. So that's that's your cover page. Print it out. I just wrote on it with a pen. Didn't even type it into my computer. I just wrote on it, just freehand. Um, so you've got that to print. Um, Let's go to our next thing. The next thing that you're gonna have in the front of your um, control journal is your tracker. I have two different trackers here. I have a new coach tracker, which basically has your three vitals. Workout and drink Shakeology, read personal development, and engage with three people every day. Print this out, check it off when you've done it. Keep track. Are you actually working your business every day? Not are you getting on Facebook and scrolling around every day, but are you actually doing your three vitals and working your business every day? There is no better way to figure this out than to have a tracker and to actually see the proof of your work. That is a big eye opener. So that one is an okay tracker what I feel like is the bomb tracker is called the revitalized tracker. I also have it here in the control journal. This is a daily checklist that will change your life. Um, a lot of my success partners put this in like a plastic sleeve and do a dry erase marker so they can just check it off every week and then wipe it down um, and just keep reusing it. So, you know, complete your workout, drink your Shakeology, read or listen to personal development, uh, friend request three people so expand your network by three people every day reconnect with three existing friends invite three people to your next group post three times a day on social media and go outside of your comfort zone because that is where the magic happens so this would be my this is the tracker I use and this would be my preference for you to use as well if this stresses you out do the, the basic one that's just the three vitals. Don't do nothing. Not allowed to do nothing. Okay, so that's your tracker. That's going to be the first thing that you put inside of your binder. The cover page goes outside. The tracker goes inside. So the rest of these pages are going to just be breaking down those three vitals. So your exercise. be Do a workout every day and drink Shakeology every day. So what I like to do, I have a workout calendar, and I like to know, I like to plan out my workouts in advance because if I don't have them planned out in advance, it's easy for me to skip, it's easy for me to just like pass on it, whatever. So you can have your regular workout calendar that comes with your program, or if you're doing hybrid, you can print this out and you can write in, all right, for this month, I'm doing 21 Day Fix and Pio, or I'm doing Hammer and Chisel. Um, Print it out, have it in your binder, so you know exactly what you need to do when it's time to work out. The second thing, after doing, being a product of the product and working out and drinking Shakeology, um, you've got to do your, so you've got to do your personal development. So there's a lot of different personal development you can do. You can listen to a podcast. My number one recommendation is that you listen to the National Wake Up Call podcast unbelievable training in that podcast. If you don't listen to that podcast, you are walking away from your business exploding because that training, if you implement that training, just one thing every week from that training, your business will be unstoppable. I, I promise you that. So try it and tell me that I'm wrong. The other thing you can do is watch some of these training videos. I have an entire list of training videos how to earn team bonus cycles. Some of this is very basic, but if you're just starting off, don't skip these. These are foundational to your business. How to build relationships, how to earn through rank advancement. Here are some other amazing YouTube channels to follow. Just go to Becca Robinson's channel and watch all her videos. Go to Caleb Thomas's channel, watch all his videos. Go to Melanie Mitchell's channel, watch all of her videos. You will have no end of personal development <laughs> if you just work your way through these training videos. So, um, you know, 
obviously you can click on the links here, um, but if you want to print it out and kind of cross them off as you go through, then it's also a fun way to track your progress. So this one you can print or not, but it's there for you to help you get started with your personal development. Um, I also have another uh, PDF called Personal Development Suggestions. These are my favorite books. I would print this off and maybe just go down the list and scratch them off as you read through them. And once you've read through every book on this list, then you can contact me and I will have you doing all of my team calls for my team after that. <laughs> just kidding. Um, but this will keep you busy for quite a while and it will change your life. If you read these books, your life will be changed. Um, not just as a coach, but as a person in general. So there's your personal development. That There's your be a product of the product and your workout calendar. The last thing is to invite. And for that, I have a lot of great documents for you. This one is called Questions to Form Relationships. Form is... Um, a way to begin conversations with people that has nothing really to do about Beachbody, but it just gets you talking. It gets you establishing trust, and it gets you learning about people's lives. Um, so F stands for family. Ask people about their family, their occupation, their recreation, and then start sharing your message. Once you've taken the time to really get to know people, how they're doing, what they're doing, who they are, um, ask them about, you know, what they're doing with their fitness. How can you help them? Um, so this is, you know, I print this out and I reference this. When I am going to talk with somebody and I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't even know what to say. I open this up and I look at it and it gives me some ideas and I jump in and I start talking to people. Um, the next thing that you can also reference is this PDF here called What Does It Mean to Invite? And... This is an awesome, awesome document. I have referenced it so many times. It's basically real life examples of some of the top coaches and some of their conversations with people. So, you know, someone who you've previously talked to, just super easy, you know? I know we talked about a challenge group a while back, but it didn't end up being a good time for you. I just wanted to let you know that my September group is opening and I wanted to give you first dibs on a spot. I'd love to help you get started. You know, maybe reference something that they really wanted to see, a goal that they told you about, um, how excited you are to help them reach that goal. So these are all types of ways to start conversations with people. Print this out. When you're going to invite and you're like, I don't even know what to say, you have your control journal there. Open it up. Take a look at this. Get inspired. Write your own version in your own words, but let it be a guide to you to help you invite people. Um, okay, so you've got your three vitals there. You've got your workout calendar to make sure that you're doing your workouts. You've got your personal development sort of suggestions that you can cross off and that you can work your way through. And then you've got some ideas on how to form, how to build relationships with people, how to start conversations, and then how to actually invite some actual real conversations from top coaches on how to invite and having that at your fingertips on that control journal is going to help you immensely. The last thing that you need um, is your contact list. So I make one of these at the beginning of every month and I have at least 30 to 50 names on there. Some of them are people who told me no last month and I always ask no problem, can I follow up with you next month? When someone says, no, I'm not interested in doing this right now, always ask them, can I follow up with you? No problem, can I follow up with you next month? Nine times out of 10, people say, sure, no problem. Um, so I put their name on a list for next month. So I always have a list, and this is just an Excel document. For some reason, it's not really loading. Okay, here we go. Um, it just has first name, last name, some notes on our conversation, some action points, when I want to follow up with them, which is my action date, like if somebody said, you know what, I think in the spring would be much better for me. I'll put, okay, follow up in March. Um, and then, yeah, I think that's it. You can put whatever else you want in here. Maybe you want to um, put that they're interested in a certain programs so that you remember, oh, they really want to do P90X or, or they really want to do 21 Day Fix. So you kind of are, are keeping track of all your conversations because it gets to be a lot as time goes on. So I like to fill this out and I like to 
print it out, and then I'll go down and again, I'll just scratch their names off as I invite them. So if I have a list of 30 or 50 names um, on the first of the month, I start talking to three of them. On the second of the month, I talk to the next three. And I just go down and it saves me so much time from having to scroll through Facebook and get distracted and try to find random people to talk to and feel like I'm scattered and I'm lost. Um, at the beginning of the month, I go through my Facebook list and I just do it all in one big chunk, 50 names, and then I, one by one, three by three, <laughs> start inviting them and I just open up my control journal and I see who's next and I find them and I invite them and I move on with my day and I move on with my business and it doesn't take me forever. So that is the basics of your control journal. It has your list of people to invite, it has your workout calendar, it has your personal development suggestions, it has how sample conversations for how to invite people, what to say, um, there's also one in here for how to answer objections, which is really great. Um, I've also got a couple other little documents in here, um, a little calendar about setting business hours. If you want to set business hours for your week, I recommend you set aside one to two hours every day to work on your business. If that's just not possible for you and it's better to do maybe four hours on a Saturday or maybe 30 minutes in the morning, 30 minutes at night, whatever it is, guys, this is a real job. So you have to decide when you're gonna work on your business and then work on your business when you decided you were gonna work on it. Because if you leave it up to chance and you leave it up to, do I feel like working on my business tonight? Your business, you will not be consistent and your business won't grow. And I want your business to grow. I know you guys have big goals. So set business hours. Think about it ahead of time. Think like a CEO and decide when you want to work and then put it in your calendar. And if somebody asks you to go out to dinner one night, but that night you set aside three hours to work on your blog, you can tell them, I'm so sorry I can't go to dinner. I'm working that night. Um, right? Like if you had a normal job, you'd just tell people, oh, well, I'm sorry I'm working. Let's, let's reschedule for another time. Um, it's the same with your beach body business. Because the more work you put into it, the more it will come back to you, the more it will benefit you. Um, so set your business hours. There's a little calendar for that. Um, there's also a daily social media postings ideas chart. Um, if you're running out of ideas of what to post on social media, you know you want to be posting three to five times a day. Here is an amazing chart for the whole week. Um, Monday morning, post an inspirational quote. Um, in the afternoon, post a recipe. In the mid-afternoon, post a little something about your Shakeology that day. What recipe did you use? Um, so it's really cool. Whenever I'm like running dry on ideas, I flip it open, and it gives me some great inspiration. It's a great thing to print out and to have in your control journal to help you be focused and not spend so much time just like, what do I do? What do I do? Um, it tells you what to do. So that is your control center. I think that's all of the documents that are in your control center. Um, I'd say just go through this file and print out everything. Three hole punch it, put it in your control center. There will probably be more documents. There'll be certain documents you use often and that you use a lot and there'll be other documents that maybe just sit in your control journal. But all of those documents, that's everything you need to build your business and to get work done so that if you have that half an hour time that you've set aside to work on your business, you just open your, your control journal, you mark off on your Revitalize Tracker what you've done, whatever you haven't done, jump on Facebook and do it in a very focused way and you'll see that it, it doesn't have to take over your life to build an amazingly successful business. Just do your three vitals, do your revitalized tracker, invite the people on your list, post inspirational stuff on Facebook, follow that social media idea list, and stay positive. Keep at it. Keep doing your personal development. Grow as a person. Um, guys, it really is a simple business that we tend to overcomplicate. So I hope that this control journal 
this control, I keep calling it a control journal, this control center binder will be super helpful for you. Let me know your feedback. How are you guys liking it? Um, maybe you have created some documents that you found really helpful. Send them to me. Maybe I'll update them into my files so that our whole team can benefit. Um, thanks again for watching, and I hope you guys have an awesome day.